Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. I'm just really here quickly because I'm going to show you my place and t like show you how how much better it's looking, right? So, um, this, you know, when you walk in, you see, I actually sit on my couch now. Like, I haven't sat on my couch since April, and I can actually sit on my couch and watch some TV. See? So, um, don't pay any attention to the M&Ms. You can't have any. I'm not sharing. Okay, don't even, no, don't ask, I'm not sharing, I'm really a good sharer, but not with my M&M's, but they're only occasional, you don't eat them all the time, and you don't want to gain weight, so, yeah, anyways, I still have to put my laundry away, and this is going to my counselor tonight, and, um, I decided that I'm going to be shipping both of these boxes out tomorrow so hopefully it's not too big or heavy for me to lift and bring them to the um thing so we got that and then i gotta figure out what to do with this stuff right here so anyways i still haven't gone through all that stuff but i'm not really too concerned about it i have actually done a lot as you can see and it's already two o'clock in the afternoon wow so today i just vacuumed I washed my floor in the kitchen, I did my dishes, and I cleaned the kitchen. So, um, this stuff we're still trying to figure out. Um, we got the kitchen here. We have nothing in the hallway now. We have to still clean the bathroom. And then, um, this is this room. So... <laughs> a lot different than before. I haven't even taken that stuff down. I don't know if I'm even going to bother. And I just put that there for now. This stuff right here is going to go over here in this corner. There's a lot more room now, as you can see. And then, of course, we have Javian. And Javian's clothes, of course. And why is it doing that? It's probably because I'm putting my hand in front of the camera and it's making it like blurry. But anyways, so um, I did save, um, this is a pillowcase, this is a pillow, like a sheet, and then he's got his blankie. And I don't know if I have, I'll have to look and see. I thought I had pajama pa pajamas that were Spider-Man, but I'll have to take a look. If not, then I have to get him some. The only other thing I need to get him is probably... Um, like black socks if I don't have any and then um, shoes so if we put him in like a suit and tie and stuff like that he looks good we have all the ties right here but some of these ties are for infants or like smaller kids so um, which might work for um, uh, which Michael I really like this tie right here this is a really nice color tie I do like ties. I've been trying to get like all different kinds of ties over the years. And if I found a tie even today, I'd probably get it. And then we have all different kinds. I think this is actually a girl tie. And I think this came with uh, with a girl outfit. I just don't remember the outfit. So we did kind of, you know, go through all the clothes. Not quite yet, really, because um, I'm waiting for the five-year-old to be made. And I haven't decided about her hair because it might be easier to just get the same kind of hair that I got for Javian and just try and put a little bit more hair, like, you know, down, you know, in her, in the back of her head, make it just like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, and, um, I would want her to be blonde, so it doesn't have to be a bleach blonde, but I'd like a blonde. Um, so I just don't know what I can get. Well, the other thing I did find, though, is they do have now long, special mohair that's supposed to be, like, you know, as long as, um, uh, human hair. But it's, like, $50 an ounce or $50 a quarter of an ounce or something crazy like that. So I just don't know if it's worth the money. So I don't know. But anyways, that's really it. And then we 
took down all this stuff. We had stuff behind here that we took down. So now we need to repaint. And then um, I'm going to be um, taking some of the... I haven't decided if I want all of these off or not. But some of these might come off. And then I'm going to um, fill in the holes. Which I'm not sure if you're supposed to do something different. Because this is technically wood. Um, so I'll have to ask my dad about that. And then... Um, get the right stuff for this and then repaint those and make the make everything all nice haven't quite decided if i wanted to take these down leave them up i just don't know i think those would be really good for like i don't know maybe like their gloves or i don't know maybe i don't know <laughs> how's that for an answer i just don't know about anything and then i kept these things here because if we have the girl the five-year-old girl and the toddler girl which is up there we have a toddler girl and a toddler boy in there. And then, um, I think that's really it. I do have babies that I'm selling. This is one of them. And, uh, she is on my Etsy shop. And then we have a ton of other babies up in here <laughs> that need to be sold. And then I have a couple of reborns that I may want to sell but I'm not really stressing about it right this second only because I'd like to think about it I'm not sure maybe I would like to bring them back out I don't know I don't know so anyways and that's really it like I don't know tell me what you think so this baby right here is for sale for 450 and she's got a ton of stuff and she is on my um Etsy and I think this thing two is up for sale i'm pretty sure and then we have like bottles and, and diapers so if anybody's looking for a bunch of bottles and diapers um what i've decided to do i have the medium flat rate boxes here you fill it up box uh it's with um pacifiers diapers and bottles <clears throat> and um it would be $50, I'm sorry, it's $60 for the box. That includes the shipping and everything like that. So you get a bunch of diapers, you get a bunch of um, bottles, you get a bunch of things. So it's $60 for the box. Um, I have from preemie to, you know, regular size. So, um, and I also have... Um, Honest diapers, so if people are looking for honest diapers, I have them in size 1 and 2. And then I have a few other different types of diapers here. So this is the diaper box, this is the bottle box. A lot of the bottles are sealed. And um, and then we have two babies here that are waiting to be sold. And that's really it. And then this baby I haven't really quite decided on. Um, I could technically sell them. But I really kind of like him, but he does have a cloth body, and I'm just not sure, but he needs to be repainted. So I'm going to see if my friend, once she figures out how to paint silicone, if maybe she'll repaint him for me. I'm just really not into painting anymore. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. <laughs> We're trying to figure that all out. So, But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this really quickly. Um... You know, no more bottles up top. And now you probably like weirded out like, okay, now what do you do with that? I really don't know. <laughs> but I'm not going to take them down. Um, it is holding, you know, the bar up, which is nice. So like if I wanted to, you know, hang things. And then you have this area too. If I wanted to hang something, I could. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing is getting a weight set to try and work out you got your tv you know so i but at the same token i'm like oh i like all the space and if i you know put a weight set in here it kind of like ruins everything so it's just like you can't do anything with the babies in here um you know the toddlers and right now it's just such a nice setup where you can you know they could be out they could be doing stuff you can have like you know you can walk in and Javian's playing with the Legos or something like that so but at the same token I don't feel really comfortable working out at the gym I don't mind going swimming but I don't like working out at the gym so maybe I would work out more if it was at home so 
I don't know. I would like to get a small little thing, something that's not too big. I don't, you know, so. I don't know. I mean, I just, I don't like to get rid of stuff to add new stuff. That's not really what I'm trying to do, but we will think. I will think about it. But that's what I think. We're thinking about it. We're looking around, you know, and I'm just like, I'm not rushing into it right the second I'd like to get back into the pool once I can you know be you know because I can go into the pool and you know I can maybe go into the gym for a half an hour before going into the pool or I can go into the pool and then go into the gym after or maybe I could go and do just swimming there and then deal with um you know doing some weights here maybe I don't have to get a bench maybe I could just get some free weights and do some weights here I just don't know what I want to do I don't know what muscles I want to work on we have too many muscles in our bodies to be honest with you if you didn't know we have over eight th um, 800 muscles in our body so it's just like oh my god so we're gonna work out like five of them <laughs> and then you know the other seven uh the 800 and something that are left I'm not going to get worked on. <laughs> <coughs> One thing, though, that I have noticed with me is I'm not drinking enough water, so I've noticed I have a lot of cramps waking up with my in my calf, you know, my legs. So we need to work on that. So let me tell you a little, you know, a few things real quick. So um, do yourself a favor. Never, um, okay, so first of all, never put your credit card or debit card information on anything. The next thing is, don't ever sign up for Weight Watchers, okay? Because, uh, you know, my friend was just like, you gotta use the app, and the app was requiring a credit card, and I'm like, I'm not gonna get charged. He's like, no, it just makes it so you can buy stuff, you know, easier or whatever. No, they've been taking out 50 bucks a month. November, December, and now January. Now, my money is calculated to the dollar. So now they're taking money away from, from bills that I'm really stressing out about. So I got to call them up today and find out why they're doing something because I did not uh, approve of this to happen. And when we were there, we were told that this wasn't going to happen. Like, you know, that, it, you know... Because she even went up and asked to double check. And they even said no. So they don't even know what they're talking about. And then when you try and go to the store to try and cancel it. They can't cancel it. They can't do anything. You got to you call this number and that number and blah, 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 blah. Not just having that problem with, with that. I'm also having trouble with Apple. So when you... I had gotten something a few months ago that was an app that was supposed to be free turns around this app is not three free they're asking for 2.99 not just 2.99 for the app i can say 2.99 for the app that's fine okay i can deal with that no it's 2.99 a month for the stupid thing so i've deleted it off my phone i've actually had to stop uh, i've had to go into my phone and turn off payments until I can figure out what is going on. And I also want my money back because I never accepted, you know, some apps have free, some are not. You got to really be careful. You got to really read. You got to really make sure that what the, what you're getting is free. The one that I got, all right, usually you'll have like a number in on it. Like it tells you right on the thing when you're about to purchase it, how much it is. That never happened. So something was flawed, and I probably will have to go to the Apple store for them to help me fix this, but I'm going to try and call Apple first and see if, you know, if they can fix this. I want my money back. I never, you know, approved of this to happen. So I want to, to just tell you about these things because I want my experiences to reflect on yours. So... Maybe you'd make a better decision, blah, blah, blah. You'd be like, well, this happened to Jade, you know, JC, so, you know, oh my God. <clears throat> and yes, I am going to do the name reveal 
at some point before the end of the week. So, get ready for that. You will know my birth name. You will know how I got my birth name. You will know what my name would have been if I was the opposite sex. Then you will know the name I picked out to start with when I was 18. What it meant to me and why I chose these, these, these this name. And then you will know the new name that I decided to legally change my name to. And um, you will know um, why I picked these this name. And um, why I decided to go with a new name versus the name I originally decided to go with. So we will have that little talk today. Uh, talk later this week. So it will probably be done over the weekend. I will make time for it. I will. Uh, I wanted to. Um, I might need to write the name down because I don't know if I can actually say my birth name. I don't want anybody ever calling me my birth name. I hate it with a passion. Like it's it's almost like a swear word to me. I don't allow anybody to call me that. And every trans person is different. Some people, you know, if their mother calls them by their birth name, they're okay with that, blah, blah, blah. No. I do not even allow my mother to call me my birth name. So, it's, um, you know, and uh, I've been watching some, you know, uh, transgender people and how they feel and all that stuff. And every trans person is different, different in every way. So I will also be doing a video about that because I just hit my um, 16 months on T. And um, next month is going to be my one year anniversary for top surgery. Yay. So exciting. Um, it was the best decision ever, even though it was the hard, it was a very hard surgery. Um, I was a little nervous about the surgery, you know, that I just had, but actually this surgery was, a, the recovery was a lot easier. So, um, and now I'm worried about bottom surgery. So, <laughs> um, I'm not, I can't really worry about something that's not going to happen this year, but I would like to find a, a doctor. I am in the search of a doctor. So we will have a transgender talk as well. And, um, I think that's really all I can think of right now. Um, I wanted to see, because I do have that story about the, if a cat could talk. I want to see if I can make it maybe PG, PG-13, but I can't make it rated R because it would be hilarious if it was rated R. But at the same token, we want to try and keep our mouth a little bit on the clean side. But I haven't decided yet because it's more funny if you say it the way it's said so it's really funny anyways that is it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the tour of my apartment um i thought it'd be really funny and tell me what you guys think and obviously it would be pg but um I think it'd be kind of unique to take you in the shower with me. You don't really see a lot of people, like, taking a shower and, you know, what they use in the shower and how they do in the shower and stuff like that. I think it would actually be just a really funny video, but not really funny, but educational. Like, oh, what I use, what kind of soap I use, what do I care about, you know, and I don't know. I just don't know if people would get excited if I'm you know, naked in the shower. <laughs> I don't know how people would react to that, but you let me know if that's something that you guys would want to see. I think that would be kind of funny. Um, I just need to figure out how I can actually set up a camera in the shower without it being, like, either foggy or, um, just, you know, distorted because of the heat or any of the things. And how I would set up the camera in the shower. Like, I don't know how I would do that, so... Once I can figure that out too, I would do it. But that's really it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like down below. Feel free to leave me any comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys back here the next time. 
And we're also going to talk about how I'm doing mentally because, as you can see, I'm probably doing very well. And I'll talk to you about how, you know, my friends and family feel and how I so badly just want to tell the doctor that refused to give me that one drug that works for me. I told you so kind of deal. So, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys back here the next time. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, buddy. <laughs> How's it going, guys?